<laughs> All right? And then it said the last day is going to be how many, how many men? Ten. It's going to be ten men. So it's not going to be, you know, nothing else. <laughs> All right? Let's go back. All right, Revelation 4 and 10. The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that, that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, are and were created. All right, so now let's go to Matthew chapter 25. So you see that there's 10 men there. You'll see a lot of numbers dealing with 10. All right? Right? Read, uh-huh. 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto 10 virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. All right, so in Jesus' parables, he liked to use this 10 a lot. Uh, go down to Luke chapter 19 and 12. He said, therefore... A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. Uh -huh. And he called his ten servants. Ten servants, another ten, number ten again. Go to Luke 15 and 8. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver. Ten pieces of silver. So Jesus used those in his parables because he already knew that. Later, we're going to still use that number 10. Everybody understand that? Now, people get confused. Go back to Revelation chapter 4 and 4. People get confused with the word elders. Elders. They say, well, are they, they call elders. How are they going to be apostles? All right. Read it. Uh-huh. 20. All right. Read. And around about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats, I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne... All right, so you got 20, uh, 24 elders. All right, now let's go to Peter chapter 5. First Peter chapter 5. All right. First Peter chapter 5 and 1. Uh -huh, read. The elders which are among you... The I elders exhort, which are among you, I exhort... Who am also an elder... Who am also an elder? What was Peter? He was an apostle, but then he called himself a what? An elder. All right? Y'all see that? So now the question is, and y'all should know this, why are they not called apostles in the book of Revelation? Because you don't, you don't, you, you're not going to need Revelation. After the rapture, you're not going to need Revelation. You're not going to need an apostle. You're not going to need any mysteries after Revelation. So this is why they're called elders. They're not called apostles because you won't need apostles during that time. That title won't be needed during that time. See, the, the apostles will get us to the rapture. Once, they, once we made the rapture, they ain't going to be no need for none anymore. All right? Everybody understand that? All right, any questions? All right. All right. So uh, we have two types of apostleships. Apostles to the Jews, apostles to the Gentiles. There's going to be 12 to each because 12 plus 12 is 24. And there's 24 elders that sit around the throne. Those will be a seat. And 12, of course, will be judging, uh, uh, judging Israel. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Everybody understood tonight? Yes, sir. So yeah, the twelve to the Gentiles is 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 post 
uh, res resurrection. All right. The 12 Gentiles, 12 apostles to the Gentiles will be post resurrection. All right. All right. Any other questions? All right, everyone's yes. Uh, the Gentile, the, the the apostles of the Gentiles are post resurrection. All right. Any other questions? All right. Stand and give the Lord a hand. Praise tonight. All right. We got a few minutes. Y'all, where those tests at?